Howdy! It's time to beer whisper, and I'm at the end of a beer. That's not what I'm going to talk to you about today. I am more than just a one-trick pony, people. Pizza. Can you see that? I actually took a bite of it already. Let me get up there for you to see this here. Can you see that? Holy cow, that looks good, doesn't it? You want that, Seth? It's a four cheese pizza. Uh, feta, gorgonzola, provel, and mozzarella. Look at that crust on that baby. Can you see that? I mean, nice, crispy, but soft, doughy in the middle. Oh, my Lord, it was perfect. We got this at a place uh, in St. Louis called uh, Antonino's. So I, wanna, I wanted to give a plug to them. Earlier, I was also at a pub... Where I was able to have a beer and relax for a minute called Nick's. So I'm plugging some local, uh, some St. Louis places. Also, there's a bakery here in this area called The Hill. Holy crap, that's good. Called the Missouri Baking Company. They make the best cannoli ever. I understand I'm not an Italian guy, so y'all are just going to take my word for it. But it was awesome, man. Uh, they make these cookies I call raviolis. They're kind of like little raviolis. They're basically little shortbread squares with nuts on them. Oh. Yo, oh, I'm here eating this pizza. Because I could not finish it while we were there. It was so good. You got four cheese blend. You can just, just settle the, the, the feta and the gorgonzola. You know, are very sharp. The Prevail is a melter, you know, the Prevail melts, and then you've got the mozzarella in there, and it's all ties together. But they sell this four cheese pizza, but we wanted to add the meatball to it. They add, uh, they their meatballs are all house made there. So, it, it, but that, that meat kind of uh, gives you something to go with, you know, to break up that cheese a little bit. This thing is awesome. I'm afraid, uh, you know, what the bathroom break's going to look like later this evening or tomorrow morning, but. I'll cross that when I come, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to leave you there. Oh my gosh, I just got to buy a meatball. That was phenomenal. Holy cow! I'll take the rest of this Avery IPA and wash it down. The Beer Whisperer's first ever food pairing. A big hearty pizza. A good IPA. How do you do?